Jim said there was a bounce in the step in, in Schembeck the uh, past couple of days. What have you seen in that regard? I mean, yeah, I mean, we, you know, you guys were saying we can't stop the run and we're soft and this and that and, you know, that's just, you know, we've kind of framed that in our minds, you know, and that's given us a lot of motivation to work hard. And it's just, you know, that underdog mentality you know, is really like giving us a new, new flame. So. You said you can't stop the run? You guys said. Well, the Wisconsin game, though, that was, I think, the I mean, that's what y'all, you know, that's what y'all was claiming, you know what I'm saying? You know, I understand y'all not in the coach's office and not watching film how we watch film, you know, so uh, it's, I understand why you guys would feel that way. But, um, yeah, that, I mean, that just gave us some motivation, you know, to execute and, and do our job to a high level. So, so what, what did we overlook for? What were some differences? Yeah, um, executing. Like I said, you know, before when I talked to you guys, it comes down to execution, doing our job to a, at a high level, and just, you know, focusing on the little things and the small details and, you know, uh, executing our preparation at an extremely high level. So, But what are some of those small details that you're talking about? Practice, you know, um, just practicing extremely hard and focusing on the details, just the small things, you know, like just whatever the coaches tell us, you know, just, you know, maximizing the focus on it, you know, to a high level. So, the criticism, just looking at the Wisconsin game, was the criticism in that game fair, or do you think people were missing something? Was there another reason that all those <laughs> yards and points happened? Yeah, y'all was missing some stuff there, you know, I will say, you know, but. <clears throat> It is what it is, you know, it, it gave us new life, you know what I'm saying? Like, it gave us new flame, gave us new motivation, you know, uh, and we needed that, to be quite frank with you. We needed that motivation, and we thank you guys for that, you know, um, so yeah. What's the difference between the Penn State team we saw last year and what they're doing this year offensively? Have you seen enough of them to say? Um, I've watched them. I mean, they don't have Miles Sanders anymore, so I mean, I feel like they're trying to uh, spread the ball around a lot more. Get it to your uh, playmakers, KJ Hamler, and you know, they're just yeah, they're trying to get the ball more around. They don't, I, I don't know if they have that. I think KJ Hamler is their their X factor on offense. You know, just from the little I've watched so far, and um, the quarterback's doing a good job of you know executing the plays at a high level, and um, their offense is just clicking right now. So, did you make the trip there two years ago? I did. What do you remember about uh, being in Happy Valley at night? <laughs> it was loud. You know, some fans was cussing and, you know, being disrespectful and, you know what I'm saying? And I like that kind of, that kind of thing, you know, that's my thing. You know, I like that, you know, hostile environment, you know, it gets my adrenaline going. So I can't wait to get back up there and get that nasty taste out of my, my mouth out, uh, two years ago, you know, when they beat us. So, yeah.